Hello guys, thank you for watching the video and thank you for joining the course. My name is Suleiman Siddiqui and welcome to Linux command line. So why Linux command line? Of course, daily basis at work, in school, at home, when we're using a computer, we're using graphic user interfaces that we can see the file and we can click to open a file we can click to copy the file and some part or some time we are not able to use graphic user interfaces. We can't see no graphic. We can see only line of command. So where? When we're working on the server, so when we're working on cloud, so when we're working on um, IoT applications, we are not able to use graphic user interfaces. We need to learn a command. So this course is Linux and Unix. So why Unix? Unix is also the same command when you learn in this course, it will be working on Unix too. We are going to starting from really basic, how to move the file, how to copy about command line, and we are going to advance. So this course is for whom? Who people like to learn command line and also learn Linux? And honestly, I'm telling you guys, this is the first setup or to learn Linux. If you don't know command, you don't know nothing on Linux. Be with me and you will learn from this course a lot and uh, we will discuss more on next video and thank you for joining the course we'll see you guys on the next section thank you hello guys thank you for watching the video and thank you for joining the course uh, before when we are going to typing in the shell and also in the tax command line so before we have to discuss and we have to understanding about the structure and also the pattern of the command. So there is three things that's really important that we have to know of our command line. So it doesn't matter, we are using shell, we are using um, our uh, command prompt on Windows or PowerShell. So, but this three is really important that we have to understand. So basically command is is a command. This is a command or ls. I will discuss more, but in the future we will discuss about these commands at all. And option and argument. So the command or a command, it is going to command, option, and argument. Three setup we have to go. So for example, here you guys seeing that I have ls. LS, it is sharp. Usually command is coming in the sharp of something. Like for example, here is LS is a list. So it is short of list. I'm asking for this command, LS, this is a command. And what is this? It is an option. Means I ask list, and I put the option for my directory that I want to get a header of those uh, folders and directories. So list of what? Headers. And so what is this? This is an argument. Argument, it means that you can file or go into the path or the, the tax or document that you want to target it. It's an argument. So I ask this command that list of headers from users bin. So we will discuss and no worry about this command. We will discuss more about these, but the most important that when we are starting for command line, these three options is really important that you have to understand. Commands, option, and argument. The same thing here, as you can see, it's a sort, it's, it's a command, minus u and user.txt. Okay, so we 
ask to sort this txt file. So we will discuss about this command, but mostly, and also you guys have to understand, uh, so on options, sometimes it will be one later, and sometimes it will be two and more. So thank you for watching. I will see you guys on the next video. And so, and we are jumping in command line. And so we are starting from uh, shell. Thank you. Hello guys. Thank you for watching the video and thank you for joining the course. So we discuss about general structure of the command. And um, let's see how those issue command to the system. And also, uh, so as you guys know that when we installing Ubuntu or any kind of Linux, the shell will be installing on the kernel. So we will discuss about the core of the kernel, what's the kernel and what is the, the bash or shell is. So, but basically shell, it will be built on, on the any version of Linux or Unix. So, so when we are first logging on on the shell or command line, so we will see the first time it is called what is this called? It's called prompt string. So prompt string is a little bit information about about your current what user you're using or where you are located. So what is this information? So this is the username that I'm using. Suleiman so Siddiqui is my username. And at, what is at means? At is what machine I'm using. So that is the machine name, okay? So this uh, prompt string is user, and it will be giving some information. So what, uh, so when we guys see this one, it will be showing that what machine you are logging or what machine you are working. So, of course, when you are dealing with a lot of um, command or command bases, and this is really important that you are running on a script in the wrong machine, and you will make it really big trouble for the company. So, all the time you have to verify, so what machine you are working, and what machine you are going to send an, a script. Of course, it is mistake, small mistake, make it big problem, and especially if you're working in enterprise companies. So, and also you can see right here, it's a Delta and dollar sign command. So what is a Delta? Delta, it show me the, um, the user, the user home folder, okay? So this Delta, it means this is like a user home folder. So we will discuss about user folder and so we will go further, but mostly is we are typing on the right side. For example, let me say ls, show the list of the directory. So this will be showing our list of our directory. So, ls so it will be showing the list of the directory and folder that i am currently working on so it is like the shell will be interpreted the list it will be showing all the list of uh, folders like directories that i am located or the the, the location i am So an ls space minus l. So what this command will be showing. So um, let's enter. So it is. So we discuss about right. So the command is going to command option and argument. So I put ls. This is a command, and this is an argument. The argument I say. Okay, I want to see, so when I put ls, it will be show me the, the folder and directory. And I want the option, put the option, okay, I want the minus l means I want to see more 
or long list. So the long list will be show me. So what is the user? We will discuss about the user. Uh, um, so like um, this is um, how the access like a user have a uh, read, write, or execute. So we will discuss about this one. And this is the Solima CDK, and and this is uh, the time and also the the location that I have. So it will be give me some more information about the list. It means L minus L. It will be showing me the long list of the uh, directories and folders. Hello guys, thank you for watching the video and thank you for joining the course. So before when we are going to start an actual command. So there is a lot of helpful things that we have to discuss. And uh, so it does really help us for in our script and in our command line, such as tab completion. So what is a tab completion is? So tab completion, for example, I'm going to say ls minus l, so DE, so when I type DE and plus tab, so what's going to, it will be completing, it will be case that there is a path or there is a, a, a folder or there is a directory called desktop. It will be automatically, what to do, it will be completing it. So, and also one thing, it is kind of really case sensitive, right? So if I put ls minus l and I put de, it doesn't work. It doesn't work, right? So because they don't understand what is de, but if I put d capital and the e and plus that, it will be going to complete for us. And also, if I put do and enter, it doesn't it doesn't guess and if I put double enter, it will be saying okay, yeah, there is starting do with the documents and also there is do with download. So which one do you want? So if I say doc and enter, it will be going to complete the document, and if I put dw, it will be complete and download. Of course, we were saying uh, it is kind of really easy, but in the during of a scripting or during of the command, it will be really helping you to save time. It is especially for timing. You don't have to type it all the time. Desktop, when you type DE, it will be automatically complete for you. So, and also we do have a lot of shortcuts that you, when you are typing, especially on core, there is no button to move and up and down, so you have to understanding the uh, the shortcut that you move your cursor, right? So here is okay. So here is the the shortcut. So Control A, it's move to the beginning of the line. So when you are or anywhere of the, the the line in the middle of the line, when you press Control A, it it will be bring you in front of the line. So control E it will me it will be move your cursor to the end of the line. So control left arrow it move your cursor to the so like it will be changing one word to the left. And um, control right arrow it move your cursor to the right like a one word, okay? So, control U, so it's remove from cursor to a start. So, what it's doing? So, it will be, your cursor will be removed from the start. So, control K, it will be removed from cursor to the end. Okay? So, and control C, control shift plus C, it will be copied to clipboard. And also the the up arrow, so up arrow, it will be um, 
you can see the previous command that you type and um, and um, down arrow it will be scroll the previous command that you type okay all right so these are like so you have to practice and you have to um, such as um, learn these kind of basic thing because daily basis you will be using these are because it's really important how you move your cursor how you're going from the beginning to line up how you're deleting it so thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next hello guys thank you for watching the video and thank you for joining the course uh, so everyone is starting from somewhere right so who people is i have an experience on command or command line or bash or powershell so even they are not memorized all of the command because it is a lot so there is many way that we can get a help and so we understanding the base of the command or what the command it do and then we can get help to following the command or what we are doing and he, here is the in the bash or linux we calling call manual page so manual page will be give us a lot of help to figure out what is the command for example let's go jump in back in our uh, linux so we are type ls so so i'm going to type man ls so what is main it is a main page or manual page that will be give us help about ls so what at ls is so when we enter so we get a lot of information so what it do and what is the ls means and so when we using so so for example ls it is a command and we need options so for example the option we can type minus minus all so it will be minus a it will be almost all so they give us more 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 detail and we are getting more idea what we are looking for right yeah so they will give us a lot of so especially like here is so like a ls it is list of directory contents so what is do so give us the actual what is this command it means it will be give us the list of directory and contents and also they give us a direction so what direction we are going to so they will give us like a there is more directions and more help for to go further on this command so so and the question is coming if you don't understand or you don't know the command how you gonna find the command that's a really good question right if you don't know the the command so how are you gonna find the command the command is called a p r o p o s So it is apropos, like for example, we are I'm trying to figure out what this list is, right? So apropos, it will be going to give us the command that we are looking. So because we forgot, but we know what the command or actually do. So we need the list of the, this directory or or things. So apropos, it will be find for us the command all right so when i enter so here is the number of give us more information and so and more yeah so it will take some time to like uh, read and they will give a really handy information and for that command that you're looking for okay so here is the list of the that we are the list of the directory contents. So we need 
the list of the directory content. So the rest, right? So they will give us all list of what we are looking. But this is the documents, really handy documents that you guys need for some command. And this is really helpful. All right. So guys, see you guys in the next video. Hello, guys. Thank you for watching the video and thank you for joining the course. Uh, so we are going to discuss about folders and files. Of course, we all know about these folders and files. So folder, it is a collection of uh, a, a file that will be saving inside of the folder. It should be anything. It should be uh, a, a document, should be a, a spreadsheet file, should be a database file, or should be like anything of those file will be saving or putting on a folder. It is a collection, means collection of those files. Uh, so, but we are using a lot of in um, the graphic user interfaces, and uh, so an command line or non-graphic user interfaces will be the same thing. So, so in the graphic um, user interfaces such as uh, a folder and data, so we can navigate our files and source. With what? With the cursor and also with the mouse. So, and then how are we going to navigate on uh, on command line? Of course. So there is uh, the command that we can going to navigate on there. So first we are going to see where am I located, okay? So first we are going to see where we are. So the command is pwd. So this command show is where I am located. So right now I am in a, in a home and Suleiman Sriki. So then the command is ls. It is a command that we are going to see what do we have to navigation. So I'm going to in my desktop, I create a folder. I want to navigate to the, that folder. It is really easy. So CD means change directory. So currently I am in um, home Suleiman Siddiqui. So when I put CD and it will be changing to directory. So DE, when I put DE plus enter the tab, so it will complete, auto complete for me desktop. So when I enter, now I am, so when I put PWD, and it show me so where I'm located. I'm located in where? In desktop. So from here now I'm going to see all my desktop. What folder and directory do I have in my desktop? So when I put ls plus enter, I do have only one file. So I'm going to navigate that file. I'm going to cd again to file. And I am my location is PWD. I'm sorry, uh, PWD. See, I'm navigate all the way down to the file. So, uh, so all you guys, all you can see right here to where I am located, and I will go to LS because it doesn't have a file. It's an empty folder, and so we are going to create an a text. In this folder and uh, so going to folder. So and also if you want to go to back to the desktop, so what is the command it's called cd dot dot? It will be navigate back to next. So now I'm coming back to desktop. So now go to that cd dot dot. So now I'm coming back into my home directory. It's called uh, pwd. So here is I am back in my home directory. So this navigation it is kind of really so, but usually on user interface or user graphic that we are going to most of the time that we are clicking on mouse, but for command line that you have to go manually. So I have to usually call city. Um, so all right, guys, thank you for watching the video and thank you for joining the course. So let's. I create a folder on the, um, on the file that we are going to navigate. So first command is usually we are going to, if we are going to navigate, 
as PWD that show our where we are located. So and we are going to ls minus l. It will show me all my directory files under the long list. So first I'm going to in my uh, navigate to my desktop. I'm going to create uh, a directory or folder on my desktop. So I'm going to cd desktop. Okay, so what is the command that we are going to make a directory? mkdir. Okay. So make a directory. So this is the shortcut of the mk make a directory. So now we are going to put the name of the directory that we want. So if I say new folder, plus enter. Now I'm going to ls minus l. I'm going to see there is two folder that it has, right? See, so it is new folder and file. So now we are going to navigate on that folder that we created right now. So CD, see the tab completion is really help. I don't have to type new folder all the way up. So when I type in, so N E, it will be understand I'm typing. So here is I am in PWD. So I'm located in desktop new folder. So when I go to LS, it is empty because there's nothing, right? So, and I'm going to create a folder inside a folder. So now I'm going to create, uh, so PWD, so we I'm located on my new folder. In a new folder, I'm going to create uh, MKDIR. So make a directory. So I put the name, uh, so I put department. Okay. All right, so department, right? So when I play it, I'm when I'm entering, so when I go to back ls, I will see I do have a department. So now let's go back to cd dot dot. Okay, excuse me. So I'm back in desktop. So when I go to ls um, minus l. So I do have a two folder, right? So now I'm going to, I know, I do have a folder inside the folder department. I'm going to create a, a folder on department called HR. So let's go. I'm creating, so what I'm doing, so, so I'm going to M, KDIR, a new folder, C, and department, and I'm putting the name of HR. Then enter. See? Now I'm going to back on the same place navigation. So when I'm going to back in, C, uh, CD, a new folder. So when I go to LS, I see department. So when I see the department and LS, I do have the HR. So this is the short way we are going to create a folder from the place that we are. So, and um, yeah, so this is really easy. And that is kind of need a practice, but so we can create both way, like manually one by one. And also we can create like this. Uh, from the directory that you are. So this way is kind of save more time, but mostly it is kind of professional way. And also you can do the same thing. It is depends of you what way you're choosing to go. It is the Hello guys, thank you for watching. So we, we create um, a folder called HR, and now we are going to create two parent folder or parent folder on the same and HR, so IT and sales. So uh, first we have to go to PWD that we see 
where is my location or where I'm located. So when we configure we are located in home and directory, so then we are going to mkdir make a directory. So the command is we need the parent folders to where to desktop uh, new folder, right? Uh, department hr i need uh, i team slash sales all right plus enter uh, so i make oh i'm sorry i put the wrong so m k d i r so plus enter yeah so it is great so let's go and see to navigate how we can navigate so the navigate it should be i'm going to up to department okay so i'm going to cd desktop new folder department department i'm going to hr see so now i'm going to say ls um, uh, show me it and also if i go to pwd so where i'm located i'm located a desktop new folder and department and hr so it so when i'm going to cd uh, oh yeah inside of it i put sales okay. here is like cd it i'm going to go to ls a sales so i create two parent folders so i create it inside of it i create a sales okay so that's called parents folder so Plus P, it is showing that we all need to create a parents folder, that folder inside a folder. So then, how we are going to remove a folder from a folder and directory from um, from the folder that we created? So let's go. I'm going to type CD. Uh, CD. It will be going to back on the home folders, right? So P. PWD, so create me, take me back to my home folder. So now I'm going to navigate back and remove IT. So how I'm gonna do RM, PIR, desktop, new folder, department, HR, and I'm going to say um, IT. Uh, Okay, so file and folder is removed, new folder, yeah, so it's not, it is not empty, of course. When it's not empty, so it will be give us, a, a, and because they will give us a warning, so I will discuss about it. So let's create, let's remove the uh, sales. Here, the sales removed it, so when I go back on the, the IT, so CD, uh, desktop, New folder, department, HR, IT. So when I go to LS, there is nothing. So it is removed from the folder. Hello, guys. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for joining the course. So we, uh, previous lecture, we discussed about how to create a folder and how to move the folder and how to remove the folder. So now we are going to create a text file and how to copy the text file and how to navigate it and how to remove it. So first we are going to say PWD, excuse me, PWD, I am located home and um, Suleiman Siddiqui, so LS minus L, so show me the last link. So yeah, so there is, I don't have, so, so let's create a one uh, text file. So I will say cat. So there is many ways we can go create a file, but we discuss more for cat. It is we can read and also um, I'm going to create a full uh, a text called abc.txt. So I'm going to create a text abc and you can write it anything. So see um, it. I put IT departments. Control Z, it will be back to the uh, stop it, the writing. So when you go to LS, 
I will see here is we create a txt dot so abc dot txt. So the question is how I gonna move this one to the IT department. So because it is on home folder, we don't want to our tags will be here. So and the command is C P it will be copy and um, to desktop um, new folder and from new folder I'm going to put um, a department HR IT plus enter so Oh, sorry about that. So because I didn't put the name of the file, see here is the issue is right here. So I just navigate as put CP, but I don't, I didn't put the name of the folder. So what I'm have to do, I'm going to CP, um, AP, C.txt to there. So now it's moved. So what we did, so we did a copy from ABC file that we created and I just copy to where to desktop new folder department and HR to the IT. So let's go and to navigate back there and so CD um, desktop new folder department HR IT. So when I go to LSC, there is the ABC is moved from home folder to IT so we just copied and also the way that we can move the file from that one we don't have to copy so now we have a duplicate so if you guys try to move this file so I'm just going to rm rm means remove abc.txt so now when I enter it is removed from this folder so now going to back the same way and move from um, actual home directory to where to the high IT folder. So let's go back and so CD enter it will be, bring you back to what to the uh, to your home folder. So uh, the, I'm just going to clear a screen. Okay, the question the the the, the command is MV MV it will be move. Uh, Text abc txt to where to the same folder so a desktop um, new folder from new folder I'm going to department from department to um, HR I'm going to IT so now we're going to back to navigate to there and I'm just saving that time I don't have to typing all the time I just uh, up arrow and I'm just say CD and today, right? Okay, so now I'm going to LS, see there is file, it is moved from there, from the actual um, home folder. So when we're going to back my home folder, uh, CD, enter, bring me back to my home folder. When I go to LS minus L, I don't see the abc.txt so it's moved from this location to where to the IT so and also if we wants to rename the ABC to different name so then how are we gonna do that so also the same command is called MV so we are going to excuse me so MV so MV going to navigate to there first this top screen this top a new folder um department hr i team and from here then i'm going to what so put so um it is abc right abc.txt and space and i'm going to put back navigate 
So desktop, a new folder, a department, which is a department, um, HR, and IT, and I'm going to put the new name. I will put um, new new what new file dot txt okay let's enter so what i did i just means move or mv i'm trying to like call rename the, the name of the folder from where from desktop so to look at the up to an IT folder and I put back navigate to there I put the new folder so let's navigate to there so so the next way if you want you don't want to navigate to a lot so you can put ls desktop desktop you can put ls ls minus c we discussed in the first lecture how it is really important so this is the command this is the option we we do argument i don't have to navigate all the time the argument is i want to ls so desktop a new folder department and hr uh, it so when i enter it show me total as the rest my new folder right so lemon city november so it is new file that takes the here is See, I don't have to navigate all the time. So, so it has moved and it is uh, renamed from um, from what? Uh, from uh, abc.txt to new folder. Also, you can you can manually navigate it if you. Um, so, so of course, CD and um, so I can make it really easy for you guys. Just upload and. Um, cd and plus enter and ls so here is the new file right so it is the file we created so it is not created it is we rename it all right guys so this video getting longer i will discuss in the next video how we are going to move multiple file to the um, uh, to the, the new directory all right guys so we say we saw that how we gonna move the file and how to create a duplicate or get a copy of the file and so let's go talk about how we're gonna move multiple file and to like um, to the target folder or directory that we are want okay so let's see I'm here in my um, PWD so I'm in a home directory so let's see uh, uh, ls minus l so I do have a create three file. It is file one, file file one and file two. So what we, what we are going to do? So I'm just going to move this file to HR or an IT department. So how are we gonna do that? So the same command. So what was the command we we gonna move? It is MV. So MV star so what does a star mean a star means all file that has dot txt so whatever is name is coming so match it to dot txt move to desktop new folder and uh, department hr and it so when i enter everything will be moved from here to the it department so let's go ls minus l i will see there is not anymore exist those files so those files move from here to uh, to the it department let's navigate to there i'm just sa saving the time i'm just uh, going to cd and enter i am in it it um, directory so pwd yeah i am in it i'm sorry pwd yeah so 
uh, ls minus l. Here we go. So these files are moved from there. Okay. All right, so you guys, you see that what I did? I just put mv, it's a move. So what is this a star? A star is all file, all whatever name it is, all names, it's matching to the txt, move to this target. Easy, right? Okay, so our file is now located in IT. So when we say ls, of course, we do have the file. So now let's go back to the home directory, cd, enter, and I am back in my home directory. So clear. So what I'm going to do, so now I'm going to bring those uh, files that I copied to here back. So what is the command S? And the command is um, mv, mv, desktop uh, new folder new folder and um, department uh, department and we're going to hr i'm sorry uh, department um, hr it and i'm going to what i will say um, all star Dot. So what I did, so dot means the current folder. Copy all files and I will say dot txt to what to where to dot means the current folder. So let's enter. So it is not found. I'm so sorry, but I put VM and um, that is the so MV. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna move those files that I put to dot. Dot means the current folder that I have. So enter. Everything else will be coming back from the, the the IT to back to the folder or the place that I have. Dot is current directory, current folder that I'm located. So when I go to back ls minus l. I want to get to see back those files as moved to here back. So when I go back to the same place that I was, CD, when I enter, I want to say ls, there's nothing. All uh, files move back to this current directory, okay? All right, guys, see you guys next video and next uh, section we, we discuss more. Thank you. Hello guys, thank you for watching the video and thank you for joining the course. Uh, so in the previous lecture, we saw how we're gonna move the file and how to um, move multiple files to the uh, destination folders. Okay, so right now we are going to um, see how we're gonna find a file or target folder. So how are we gonna find? So, <clears throat> So first we are going to see I'm in PWD, I'm in a home directory, and when I go to ls minus l, so here is I do have a, a tree file. So <clears throat> but this is for practice, we do have a tree file, but in the real world you will facing for more than hundreds and thousands of files. It is really hard for you to like just looking for a specific file one by one. So we do have a command. So it is called find. find. So dot. So what is dot? Dot is I'm looking in the current directory. So I am located in my home directory. So minus name. So what I'm matching on name. So we are, have a couple things such as, such as we can match it with by date, by size. And so we discuss more. And most useful is by name. It is really easy, right? So, and when you put the name and on double code, so you put the name. I will say F I L hand star and double code. 
So what's this? So find it as a command means find dot. It is the current directory I'm located. Minus name. So I'm matching on name. So it is F I L and a star. So anything it is matching to F I L and a star means the race. I don't I don't whatever it is. So just match it F I L. So when I enter, it will give me these files. See, that's different. So I do have um, txt and they give me the location. And so these are the location, right? So that is really useful that we are going to find. Of course, if we want to get a specific match, so then we can do, for example, we don't put a star and I will file um, one dot or just file one sorry i put the wrong one file one dot txt there we go it will find for you so <clears throat> all right so <clears throat> Let's go and um, find another one. So let's go and we're going to type um, um, find. This is the command. The argument I put, uh, the, sorry, the options, um, desktop, and the argument I will put, I want to look find um, minus name it says i'm looking for in the desktop matched on the name and uh, double code i'm looking for new and the race i put star and all of it is starting with new and whatever it the race i want to know that's matching so when i enter it will be give me i do have uh, desktop file new folder. I do have a, a new and so this is on the desktop that I have a folders Okay, and if I type right um, On the desktop DE and when I enter, it gives me the document so that we had, right? So we, in the previous lecture, we created. So DE, it is matching. So desktop, new folder, document. So it has really helped us. We are looking for folder inside of folders. So if I do, I, I will say I'm looking on desktop and IT, but um, excuse me. So when I go to like put, HR, when I type, see it is give me this, the location as desktop, new folder, department, and HR. So if I go to back in uh, CD, DI, so CD, uh, desktop, and when I go to LS minus L, see, um, so on the desktop, yeah, so I'm sorry, I didn't go to. Uh, CD desktop. So I'm just going to clear ls minus l. Yeah, see, guys, I do have only file and folder, I don't have the HR. But so up a row, it will be show me my um, command, the previous command. So here is I just type it find under this. See, it's not such a file because I am on the desktop now. So when I when I find this, um, because my location, so this is really be careful. It will be a lot of mistakes so when I do, when I say ls. Oh, sorry, pwd. I am located on desktop. So when I type back in desktop, find. So what is this? So find from desktop, and what I have to do right here, and I will say dot so what's dot means i am on the desktop right now i am located on the current directory i'm location is on desktop so mean the current location that i am look for 
name the matching HR. So when I enter, I will get that one. The same thing when I go to save IT. So it will be match for us. So new folder, the, that's a dot, that means current folder, current directory, it's located new folder, department, HR night. So how it is really useful for us. Hello guys, thank you for watching the video and thank you for joining the course. So let's discuss about rules and users on this video. So let's talk about Linux is multi-user environment. So what does that mean, multi-user environment? So Linux is means multi-user environment. As you guys see in the course, I'm using what? I'm using a PuDy or it is a SSH or secure shell. I'm connecting from my Windows machine to my Linux machine remotely. So what that means? That means that multi-user can join the same time with remotely, they can use the same machine. So it is Linux is multi-user environment. A lot of user can sign the same time on the machine. Okay. Of course, each user that have the keep the own separate files on each separate. When do you log in on your account? Of course, you create your own account. So, and um, your account will be whatever you're doing. It will be saving on your profile. So, how are we gonna do switch between users? The command says su command will be changed to to different user if you want. Okay, so let's talk about rules. So in the enterprise company, when you're working in an enterprise company, so each person have their own access, means the, in the back end, like a LDAP or um, active directories or user permission policies, they give you an access. Administration, they have their own access. You, regular user, they have your own access. And um, developer, they have their different access, but this is the policy we on. It is not um, the scope of this course, and um, we will discuss different course. I'll, I will give you the, in the end of the section some more idea. And um, what is the normal user do? Of course, normal user can um, so filter their files. They can make it simple changes, but they cannot install or change anything on the system. Okay, so what is the super user, super root? Of course, super root it is an uh, a user can modify for any file and make a change to the system, such as install packages, remove packages, stop any running the processor or processes. And a lot of things they can do. Okay. So the question is coming. If we don't have a access on the root, then how are we gonna do? Of course, the command is sudo, it is super privilege. So when we're typing sudo, then means if we have a access on the active directory and have a root, and then we are able to download or bring any changes that we can. So here is, uh, I'm going to back in Paddy and um, SSH login my um, open. So um, what I'm doing, I'm going to typing ls show uh, folders directory to where to root. I'm asking to show me the root folders and directory. When I enter, it's give me a connection open deny. It will be give me deny. The permission is denied. You guys see right here. So it is denied because I don't have a permission to see the root folders and directory. So, but I, if I use sudo, um, the same command minus, I'm sorry root and they will ask me to my password when i use my password of course now i am in the root privilege of course when i when i next time 
write the same command and they don't ask me again to write a password because already I logged in. So I can do anything and I want now and I'm, I am in the root privilege now and make sure. So one thing is really important that when you are going to in the root user and if you make it any small changes, small changes, it will be make really big problem for the company. And so when you're done with the root privilege and the command is sudo minus k, I'm sorry, minus k. So what this command will be doing? This command, it will be bring you back to what? To a regular user. That is my recommendation to you guys. If you guys working as a, a Linux admin or working in a Linux environment or Unix environment, this command is really important. When you're done with the, when your work on the root privilege or like sudo, and then just go back to sudo minus k. So when you enter it, and I'm going to back my single user. So when I run uh, the same root, and they ask me for my what? For, for my password. All right, thank you guys in the next, uh, thank you for watching, and I will uh, going to talk more about uh, on, on the next video. Thank you so much. Hello guys, thank you for watching the video, and thank you for joining the course. So let's discuss about file and permission. Uh, so let's go jump on the patties. I do have, so I'm going to clear, I'm sorry. Clear, I want to say ls minus l. Uh, I want to see right here as uh, read, write, or, or. So what is these three are, especially this three are. So let's go and discuss more about permission. So basically the file, it will be going to read, write, and execute. But there is more, la more later as there, but we will discuss more advanced. But right now, this should be enough for you. So read, write, and execute. So what does that mean? So we saw here, right? So let's go back to the pages. We saw one, two, three. So this is three parts. So this part, it's one, two, three user group and others user group and others user is that that create the file group is that the group they can work on that file and others is others users user or that is not including the groups so what is read so rwxr so read and write and execute so read means that user or groups or other users can read only. And write, it means they can edit and bring change on the file, or the, on the folder or file. And execute means that there is an execu executable file or there is a script to run. So the question is then, how when we create a file, then how are we gonna put this permission? We do have a two ways that we can do. So let's talk about octet file. So the command is change mode. So change mode, it will be change the mode of the file. You can put some more secure way that who gonna reach your file, who gonna access your file and who gonna bring change on your file. So when you create create user and it is going to the numbers, read is num it is four, write is two, execute once, total is seven. If you put seven, it means the user or group or other, it will be have four permission, read, write, and execute. And if you want to, for example, this is example, a group just can read and execute, you can put five. So, R, X means read and, and execute, it's five. Others means like, um, it doesn't matter, so others, so you can put on user two, you put four. Four means just, just only can read. If you want to can put two, it means only can write. If you put one, it means can, no changes they can execute. 
All right, guys. So let's jump on the on the party on some Linux. Uh, so let's go create a shell file or a script file. I'm going to say cat um, test dot sh. So this is a shell file, and I'm putting them say hello uh, from test or something like that. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to say ls minus l uh, test.sh. So by default, by default, it is user can't read and write, not execute, and uh, by default, a group can read and write, and others just only can read. So let's change the mood of this uh, to user can read and write. And um, group just can group another just can read, okay? Okay. So the command is change mode. Ch. Sorry. Ch mode. I'm going to put. So let's go get back to the. Okay. So what is read and write seven? Right. I can put right here. User can have. Full access. Uh, excuse me. And um, group just can read. So what's the read? It's four. I'm just putting four back here. And also I can put anything for others. I want to say not execute, just can read. And I'm going to put back to four to what? To Test.txt, I'm sorry, test.sh. Okay, so now I'm going to ls minus l uh, test.ch. So see, it is now the formation is changed. So the formation is user can read and write, group only can read, and Others can read only, read only. Okay. Hello, guys. Thank you for watching the video and thank you for joining the course. Uh, so, we saw how we're gonna uh, change formation on the numbers. And now we are going to talk about how we're gonna change um, permission by the symbolic or alphabet. Of course, the symbolic its user is will be U and G for group and O for others. Okay, so now how are we gonna do that? So the if you want to like a user can read and write and execute, you can put R W X, and if you want to like a, a group will be read and write and execute, you can put R W X and O. If you want to, others can read and write and execute. Of course, both are the same thing if you want to using like a 755 or 744, uh, the same thing that we discussed on, on uh, numeric. Uh, so just you can calculate, it's really simple calculation. This read is four, write is two, and execution one. So just six, it will be read and write. And five will be read and execute. So it is kind of just really simple calculation. So let's jump on the um, uh, uh, parties. I'm going to using the um, symbolic. So what I'm going to say ls minus l uh, to test dot sh. I'm seeing that uh, the um, User as an only can read, and the group and others can group and others can execute. So it do not have a for others. So just let's go and uh, create. Uh, I want to put this one for the user can read and write and execute. How are we gonna do that? So it is the same thing. We're going to change the mode. Sh mode. I'm going to u. All right. Um, equal to read, write, and execute. So we have to test dot 
message. Simple. So when I'm going to ls minus l uh, test does sh, you guys see it is pink. The same thing if I put u and so it is it's really simple. So that is the formation of for uh, symbolic. Okay. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys on the next video. Hello, thank you for watching. So let's talk about Linux file system. Of course, when we are working with uh, any operating system, we are dealing with file system. So what's a file system of? So when we are installing an application on, on Windows, so we are going to um, C drive, from C drive, we are going to program file, and from program file, we can going to see how our all install file. And also, when we're going to actual Windows, we are going to on Windows file. These are file or what? A root file that is belongs to operating system. So this is a root, it's a high level system. So means this is high level. That is we are talking about Windows. If we are missing any file that we saw on Windows, our Windows will be operating really well. So we are not missing with in Linux with root and also with the, on the Windows we are on Windows files. So home, of course, home, we saw home, each user profile that have their own home. Like when I log in in my uh, user account, I do have my own profile and home that I can download and upload something. It will be saving on home. So root, of course, if the person is logging as a root, they have their home folder too. So what is ETC? It is configuration file for many tools, such as we discussed, right? So when we are installing on Windows, it is coming to where? To C, and the C, it is coming to program file. All our file will be installing here, right? So it says a Java. So whatever I'm installing, it will be coming to a program file or program file uh, EDC. So that is ETC on Linux is the same thing. So what's the bin? Bin is storing a binaries. So it is a bit and binaries will be storing on the bin. So if you are working D devices or like a more working, you will get similar these files or these folder or directory. So SBN, so SBN stores binaries and program, the same thing. And also we have a, like a lab, it has libraries and share its models, and they it has will be uh, responsible for a device on the system, like a removal device, something some devices will be. And um, MN key or mint, it will be located or removal file system mounted, like a local or remote file system. So media, and also we have a media, it is where is removable storage mounted, such as we are um, collect uh, like a, uh, installing any USB drive or we are um, going to um, remove and add a USB drive or honey storage or mounted on that. So says it is a visual file system that we can the kernel. So we will discuss more in the future. And um, this is kind of, it's an overview of the uh, folders, but this folder, if I go to more advanced, because I said we are starting from basic going to advanced, and I'm not making guess confusing, so but 
daily basis or what are you working on the Linux, but you will figure out what these files are. But it is really important day by day, you can learn these ones. And thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Hello guys, thank you for watching. So let's talk about pipe on a Linux command. So what's the pipe? So pipe take the output of one of the command and send to another. So what's that mean? So when we typing a command and we get result, and so from the result, we are going to another command. So uh, let's go jump on the paddies and we will discuss more. So I'm in the my Linux system, so I'm going to say echo. So what is echo is? So echo is some like a your printing. It has will be print whatever I'm typing in my screen. I will see back in my screen. So let's see. I will say hello. So when I enter, it will be I can see back in my screen. Hello. Okay, now the mission is I want to using the pipe that I want echo hello world, but I don't want to print it here, but I want to see the WC or word count. So let's go and see how it works. So I'm going to back hello and putting pipeline pipe. I will say WC. So when I enter C, I enter, I will put one command and pipe to another command. See, that is called pipeline. We can go multiple pipe in our command, whatever is that you are getting the result. And so pipeline is, is really easy and it is really good source that or especially for a scripting. So what does it do? They say, I do have one word um, or one line and it is six word. Okay. Hello guys, thank you for watching the video and thank you for joining the course. Um, of course, we do have a lot of tools to edit or create a text file on Linux and Unix, right? Uh, so, the one of the tools called CAD. Of course, CAD is short for concatenate or concatenate to link together. It is will be linking linked together. So uh, we can be used this output tax file on connect to do to screen to another tool. So that is really good tools. Of course, daily basis we are using CAD a lot. And so we discuss about head, tail, and also more. So let's jump on the paddies and discuss more, right? Okay, let's go. Okay, so I'm in my paddies all in my Linux. Of course, you guys know about the paddies, but this SSH is a two shell for Windows, and my Linux is in definition. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm located, uh, the, the tax was PWD, so I wanna see where I'm located. I'm located on desktop. So when I go to um, ls minus l, you show me what do I have here. So I do have here is called uh, test.txt. So let's go. So the, the command is cat. Cat means I want to see what is inside of the txt file. I want to put uh, test.txt. So it show me. Uh, uh, some amount of uh, the text that it is on uh, about the topic or the, the, the text is already there. So, but sometimes this is not a lot, but some text it is more than 100 lines and thousand, thousand of, <coughs> excuse me, yeah, thousand, thousand of the the um, uh, words so uh, so cat will be show sure, right that we can see what is inside of in our um the okay so then if you want to like uh, see just only uh ahead of my file so what is ahead so the command is 
Kate. Excuse me, test dot txt. So what they gonna do? They will show me about couple line of my text file. What is inside? Okay. So I'm going to clear. So so head it will be show me the head of my my file. And if I go to um, tell it show me the bottom of my file of my my text see it show me three line on the on the bottom so if you guys wants to see only one line of your uh, text you can um, type um, so I want to see two line of a head or on the on the top the command is uh, head minus n and the command I will say to um, test.txt so here you go it show me two line of from the top and if I want to see the bottom line of the test I will say uh, the command is tell right T A I L tell minus n and I will see one line from the bottom and the test the text here you go it show me only one line so see it show me only one line of the the text that i have all right guys so let's use pipe and uh, the command i'm going to like i will say cat um test the txt pipe um cat Minus n. So what I did. So I just say cat show me the text file and pipe. You know we discussed about pipe before that we are going to see uh, from result of to the, another command. So uh, from the, this result I want to see what is minus n. Minus n means that it will be show the numbers of the line. It will be create for us a number. So when I enter here. I do have one, two, three, four, five line, right? Here it was really, for example, when I when I create, it was really hard for us to see how many lines it is. But right now it show me the I do have a text. It is a five line. Really helpful command, right? So yeah, the command is cat. So this is the pipeline. It is really help us. And it is kind of really kind of lifesaver. So what is the we discussed on the previous lecture and also in the during the course we learn a lot about the pipe. So test the text the pipe means show me um, the result of see the, the text and also pipe it to show on on the text line or show me these numbers of what, how many lines do I have? Okay. All right, so let's create another pipe, and I will say uh, tell two minus n two. So of course, see how many pipe we create one two. So what I did, so I said show me the the txt file, the result you got. Cut means minus n show me all the numbers and then show me from that result only the bottom two let's enter see we got just only five and four right uh, if you want to see just show me only the top and you can say okay one and two See, the pipe, it is kind of really help us. We can create multiple pipe and we can create a result specific we are targeted. Uh, so we do have another uh, command that uh, we can use it to see the text file. So I'm just going to clear this one now. Uh, so uh, the command is called less. Less is L-E-S-S. -S. It show me the less of because if you have a long file that we mentioned it thousand or hundred 
hundreds of the lines and thousands of the words. And it's kind of very hard to see just only the smaller. Uh, we do have more tools we discussed in advance, but for basic, we can use this one, lease dot uh, test dot txt. So what it gonna do? It gonna it gonna open for us all file. We can see an all file like a, the textbook. So, but so it is. We do have not too many lines, and if will be more than that, they will show us an arrow that we can go down to see to next page, next page, next page. But so this is say the test of text is ended. This means it is finished. And this way we can see less, we can go page to page, okay? All right, so when you're done, just uh, Control plus Z, it will be good, bring you back to desktop. I think so that's it for uh, just text view and so I'll discuss more on the next section. Thank you. Hello guys, so <clears throat> we discussed before um, in the previous lecture about uh, text or cat. Uh, so let's talk about when we are going to search a text or a file or multiple file there is and we are going to search for it. Of course we do have a, a tools called grab. So grab it is search the text or file to give in the string or pattern that text. So when we typing something grab means it will be matching to in our uh, a string that we are typing that will be get the result close to that one. Okay, so so let's jump back in the pages and we discuss more. So I'm just going to play it. Excuse me. Okay, all right. So, okay, sorry about that. So, because uh, my connection was uh, so I lost the connection, so just I log in back in my padding. So, um, yeah, so let's go grab something. So, grab it will be grabbing so that we discuss, right? So, uh, grab, uh, I'm going to um, say COVID. And, and to test the uh, so okay yeah sorry about that where I'm located and first I'm going to pwd so where I'm located I have to go to back on my desktop right so because I do have file on desktop I can do from here but if I be a CD uh, desktop it should be easier for us and I know okay so ls I, I can see the file and then from here I'm going to say a uh, grip. Um, I will say uh, COVID. Uh, COVID. Uh, so grab means search that matching on a COVID to where dot um, a test dot um, test dot sixty. Here we go. So it will be going to see us right here. See, I do have right here COVID-19. So if we are going to search something like uh, DRA, something like that, right? So anything that we are going to search for it. So I'm just going to search um, um, called, uh, I'll say FAU, something, okay? It doesn't match it because they don't have it right there. So if I go to say um, F A U. So here is the whole matching so that figure out and found it for you guys. Okay. So this is kind of grab if you go to deeper and it is really helpful. It is really good that we can search and easily we can find the file or the text that we're looking for. So, and also let's, let's uh, add something right here. I will say uh, minus and mean show me the line. Okay, here we go. So that they will show me the line, what line are there. So one, three and five are matched. Okay, so I'm going to 
Uh, so guys, you guys see before that we type it, uh, so something like uh, COVID on lowercase, because the graph is the case sensitive. So we need to like anything. So for example, so we saw right here, if I put, if you, it doesn't match nothing. So because it is a case sensitive, the graph is case sensitive, supposed to be the same thing that we are looking. And if you want to like, I don't care about case sensitive, whatever I'm looking at is lowercase or it is upper, uppercase. So what's the command? The command is, um, so grab minus I, the same command that, or the same searching that you're looking, the txt, when I enter, I will get it back. So minus I means just don't worry about case sensitive, just find FAU and we'll be searching for you now. We can see it. Of course, grab by default, it is a case sensitive. So when we say minus I, it will be don't worry about or don't care about case sensitive. Whatever you're typing, it will be looking for it is uppercase or lowercase. So the graph is uh, because um, if you're going to on a system site, system site or system actual on the system, the graph, it will be helping us to do a lot. And also because if you go or go into an explanation of the graph, it will be a couple hours. Because the graph tool, it is really good and we do a lot of things. So, but in advance, so because this courses we are starting with from really basic. And so just to learn about, because if you're jumping from first setup to and on on 10 setup it could be really confusing so for right now we can say grab it will be searching for us and of course when we're going to on more on the system side on logs log files grab will be really help us to find those grab how we remove those file like a, the command is called the vi so vi it will be removing uh, those lines that we are not wanted okay so see you guys in the next video. Hello guys, thank you for watching the video and thank you for joining the course. So let's go discuss about um, awake and send. So what these commands are. So these commands both be used to programmatically multiply the text streaming file. So what this means, manipulate. So manipulate, it will be going to, we are going to sorting to text file or file or data okay so let's jump on the um, paddies and let's go and uh, figure out so here on paddy i'm in the loop i located pwd i'm located sorry about that uh, pwd so i'm located on my desktop so i'm going to clear okay so ls minus l I want to see I do have a file so I'm going to see cat um, txt.file so I do have some data so right here so it's a name ID and team so let's go and we are going to see only sorting we are going to see only ID so what is the command will be yeah, the command is um, awake awk and AWK in the single code, curly brace, uh, print, dollar sign. So dollar sign means what column, okay? So I'm going to column two. So because we see it's a one and two. Column two, and we're going to close the curly brace and dollar sign, and we're going to say text.test.txt. So when I enter, I will see only ID, right? So if I go to see the one, should be easy. And yes, we are going to change um, the one, right? So we are going to see the column one, it is name. And if you want to see column two, column three, we are just change the number as you are the column three. It is really good and really popular. And we are using for sorting, especially for the table so 
So, if you want to going to see, um, so we saw the print, it will be going to print for column three. So now we are going to see multiple columns. How are we gonna do that? Uh, so the command is, so I'm going to say awake, uh, equally brace, print, I'm sorry, print, I'm printing a name and column two, sorry, column one and three. So how are we gonna do that? So we are going to say dollar sign column one, column one, and so I put what uh, I put a uh, double quote. So uh, in double quote I put backslash t means put a, a, a tab between of these two value or these two columns. So this this is means I bring a tab. So if I make it, it will be mixing. So, but I, I, I put a tab between two columns and I put uh, and three, uh, column three. And I'm closing my, I'm sorry, I'm closing them, uh, Colibris, and uh, so I'm going to say test.txt. Okay, here we go. So it show me two columns. So it is name and team. So so what is this part? This part it will be bring and it will be going to uh, create as a what? There is a tab. If the if you make it like tab, it will be going to mixed between uh, two columns. Okay. All right. So let's talk about set. So let's go first. We're going to create the cat dot test dot txt. So here is we do have a purple, green, orange, and so now what is the the purpose of set set? It is kind of um, streaming, or we can simply say change some some value on the set. So how are we gonna change? So we can say set uh, dollar sign. I'm going to say is backslash. Uh, so we are going to say orange. Orange slash red. Backslash and close and uh, test.txt. So you can see we do have it right here a green, right? Uh, sorry, a orange. So what I did, so I said orange change to rate. So when I enter, this value will be changing to rate. So when I enter, now you can see the purple is changed to, to rate. See? I'm sorry, no purple, green, orange, orange changed to red. So, and the question is coming, it will be permanently, will be changing, no. So it will be changing on the screen, but if you're going to back on the actual uh, text folder, when we're going to say cat uh, test.txt, so when I come back, it is an orange, orange not change. So, but it changed to where? Only on the screen, okay? All right, so let's talk about sort. So sort, of course, everyone knows sort will be sorting the file. We can choosing going from A to Z or Z to A. So let's go on the same cat. Um, this dot txt, I will see there is um, unsorted. I'm going to sort. So the command is really easy, sort. Sort. Um, Test.txt. So here we go. It will be going sort for me, right? It is going to by character. It's going from A to Z. Okay, the question is coming. So we do have a three column. So then how are we gonna sort it only one column? So then we can go into it's really easy, it's the same thing. We are using minus k sort minus k uh, minus k. I was going to say we are going to say three column three. Column three. So we are going to see the colors, right? Color, uh, color column three, uh, txt, 
I'm sorry. Uh, this dot txt. So when I enter, you can see it will be changing on what? On the colors. All right, so we can use um, a sort for unique for that we can see right here it is and here it's a two green so i want to make it unique just like show it on one green and so but this file is kind of for testing file so but on the file that you kind of multiple on the data so how are we gonna sort a unique means just so let's let's talk so uh, the command is uh, sort uh, minus you make it minus u unique uh, so this dot text here we go now it is going to make it unique of course this is kind of uh, i discussed it before so this is uh, a file that we are not this is not duplicated but it is a data but if you are uh, facing that the file that have a duplicated so unique will be going to remove those duplicated and bring a unique one that's on unique okay all right guys so next uh, see you guys on the next video thank you hello guys thank you for watching so let's talk about text editing or uh, editing text of course there is many uh, text editor is around that we can using in our programming languages or the scripting language so the VM is a software, so it is software as powerful, flexible command line text editor. It is really powerful, especially for Linux. So let's jump on um, Paddy's or going to my Linux machine, we discuss more. All right guys, so here is I am in my uh, Linux. So now the command is, so VI or VM, most of the time it's coming with the Ubuntu version but it's not updated and so what we're going to do first first we are going to say uh, sudo sudo that we discussed it is going to bring it in a, a privileged root mode that we can uh, have access to install so i'm using ubuntu ubuntu is we are using sudo and that is debian based and if you're using like a red hat or a red hat linux you can use yeah to install so i'm going to sudo apt and um, install vim vim uh, so they asked me for my password i'm putting my password here you go so what happened so because already i installed the vim it's a new version so i already have it in my computer so probably if you don't it will be installed for you so to open the vim it will be vim so VIM, it will be going to on um, the command line or the command, or it is a, a tax editor. When you open a tax editor, you're not able to um, insert anything. So, but right now, because I was in the insert mode, so the command is because this is really tricky. You will stack sometime. Some people they turn off the, the virtual machine or going to close the connection. So I will show you the, the trick. Sometime you pressing I, it will be bring you in an insert mode. Or sometime press shift plus I, it will be bring you to insert mode. Okay. So we can type anything so uh, such as say uh, this is um, test okay so this is a test okay so then how are we gonna going to uh, save and put it a name of for this escape as you can see on on the in the function is called escape so when i put escape now i'm coming back on on to what mode to like i couldn't uh, say view mode you can see it, but you can't couldn't uh, insert anything. Then, so escape. When you press escape, then press Shift plus. You know the the uh, colon or double colon is right here. So when you press Shift, 
and double column they bring you on the bottom of your text editor so plus right means right w is means right space or if you want a space or not say uh, anything you want i will say new dot txt so what happened or what what they're going to do for me so they were going to create a new file or new text editor the, the name of new.txt so when i enter so this file is saved the name of text new.txt okay if i bring anything changes to here but right now i can't i'm going to back on plus or shift plus i or i it may bring me to my end that mode now i can um i can type anything right so because i can type so and if i want to i don't want to save this i can type or i want to quake without saving this is kind of people will be going to stack for a while so escape plus colon when i put q means quick ends up it doesn't work here you will stack forever so and the, the command is backspace so f plus colon or double colon so then the quick the quick so q plus explanation mark so this as you have to remember if you want to quick without saving q plus explain the mark so this is will be quick for you means you don't have to like um saving so when i enter they bring me to here and also we do have one more trick so let's go back to them and if you don't want to like going you don't want it control plus z they will quick for us without saving okay so now if you want to open back uh, so I'm going to ls minus l. You can see I just created a new file called new uh, text.txt. So I'm going to say vim uh, new.txt and it will be bring here. So I in, in z mode, I'm going to add anything I want. So if I'm going to back um, and without saving, and right now here in this case because you're in z mode if i push control plus z it doesn't work believe me so sometimes the people like a new people that is not familiar with linux they will stack right here they, they don't know how to get out <coughs> of course the question is backspace sorry so escape a shift plus colon or double colon and i'm going to say um q explanation mark it will be quaking for me it's really easy so there is called main page and you can go search more on uh, vim and you can do a lot of things so for basic thing so for basic that you can edit it anything you can do for example i'm going to edit uh test.txt okay so then it's really easy vim um uh, test dot txt see it's bring me so i'm going to add another line i will say um, um nasir or nasir or whatever nas and i'll put uh, zero zero five six and i put um orange okay so uh, if I add it more, I can add it more, and then if I want to um, escape, control WQ means right and Q, save it and quick. So when I'm going to back and them, or say I'm just going to cat um, uh, test.txt, I'm sorry, cat, I'm sorry, cat. Um, Test.txt. So when I go, I can see I had it right here. Easy, right? All right. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll discuss more on the next uh, videos about Nano. Uh, so search. Everything is need to search, and if I explain a uh, Vim, it will be give me an hour to explain all word. But daily basis you learn, and also 
everything is just search and it is searching okay thank you